Dearborn, Michigan, home of the largest Muslim population per capita in the United States. It was deemed as America's jihad capital in a Wall Street Journal opinion piece over the weekend. And controversy would follow. President Joe Biden would condemn the article, the city's mayor calling it bigoted and Islamophobic rhetoric upping the community's security presence. The author standing by his article following the criticism, citing national security concerns. The piece highlights protests in Dearborn, Michigan, where the Muslim majority population there largely supports Hamas and Iran, which puts them on the opposite side of official U.S. policy in the Middle East conflict. The Michigan city mourns over what America and Israel celebrate. Local mosques in Dearborn hold memorial services for terrorist leaders killed in Gaza. What America calls the October 7th terror attack, some imams in Dearborn celebrate as part of a holy war. The Wall Street Journal op-ed says open support for Hamas is spreading. Since October 7th, similar protests have occurred in major American cities featuring pro-jihadist imagery, chants, and slogans. What's happening in Dearborn isn't simply a political problem for Democrats. It's potentially a national security issue affecting all Americans. Counterterrorism agencies at all levels should pay close attention. But Steven Stalinsky, the author, is being accused of spreading Islamophobic hate over his word choice. The mayor of Dearborn ramped up its police presence at mosque over the weekend in response. Abdullah Hamoud said the increased security was a direct result of the inflammatory Wall Street Journal opinion piece that has led to an alarming increase in bigoted and Islamophobic rhetoric online targeting the city of Dearborn. President Joe Biden also reacted, posting on X, Americans know that blaming a group of people based on the words of a small few is wrong. That's exactly what can lead to Islamophobia and anti-Arab hate, and it shouldn't happen to the residents of Dearborn or any American town. Stalinsky taking heat stands by his article, saying in an interview with the Associated Press, quote, nothing in my article was written to instigate any sort of hate this is a moment for counterterrorism officials to be concerned. Since the start of the Israel-Hamas war, there has been a rise in Islamophobic and anti-Semitic threats. Counterterrorism officials say they are on high alert and the threat of a terror attack on U.S. soil is on a whole other level since the conflict in the Middle East began.